uh, okay yeah so my topic for the assignment is java inheritance and this topic this presentation is done by a team of three members myself josh harish and akash so before going inside the presentation there is something very important to note i would really encourage you to know the basics of java before watching this presentation as it will be really helpful for you to understand this presentation so inheritance what is inheritance inheritance is an ability of a class to inherit the properties of the other class so it will be let's go in more detail in it so what is inheritance Inheritance can be defined as a process where one class acquires the properties of another. With the use of inheritance, the information is made manageable in hierarchical order. So, what is the use of inheritance in Java? The first main use of inheritance is method overriding, which is also known as the runtime polymorphism. And the second use is the code reusability. So, what is the syntax of inheritance? Syntax is very simple. All you need to know is one sim simple keyword extends. So let's say there's two classes class A, class B, and class A inherits class B, which means, and how do you write it is class A extends to class B. So this is how simple it is in Java to explain or to write inheritance. So, um, what are the other terminologies in involved in inheritance? The class which is inherits the properties of other is known as the subclass or the derived class. The class whose properties are inherited is known as the superclass or the base class or the parent class, name terms. And what are the types of inheritance in Java? The first type of inheritance is the single inheritance. The second type is the multi-level. The third type is the hierarchical. The fourth type is the multiple inheritance, out of which multiple doesn't exist in Java. And I will tell you why it in future presentation part. So let's jump inside single inheritance. So what is single inheritance? Imagine you have two classes, class A and class B. Now when class B inherits from class A directly, it is known as single inheritance or simple inheritance. So I think it will be more clear for you guys when I show you the demo part. So let's jump inside the demo part. So what I've done here is I've just written an automation code in Python which automates the typing work just because I'm very slow in typing. So yeah, I don't think I'll be explaining you the automation code of Python here. Maybe in later videos or future videos, I'll tell you about this automation code. And the text editor I'm using here is Atom. So let's run the Python code for the automational part. And yes, that goes. So what happens now is I'm taking class vehicle as a base class and it has various parameters like price, speed, gear. And now let's check car class car extends to vehicle. So it has string parameter Audi. So what happens now is car has an object C. So with this C you can this class C car C has been extended to class vehicle. So with this object of C car you can access the class vehicle so simple so this is what is going on and I think you can see in six yes class car as object C and with the help of this object C you can access the class vehicle because class car extends to class vehicle so that's what is going on from line 17 to 20 so let me run and show you this compile this and show you this and how do you compile is just first save it and now how, how do you save it is just the class name dot java and what class name i'm going to give it is i think it's car yeah so car car dot java i'm gonna save it yes and how do you run it is how do you first you need to compile it so how do you compile it is java c space the java file name which is car yes and yeah there's no errors and how do you run it is java space class name which is car 
yes that's the output for it so this is very this is called this type of inheritance is called the single inheritance so let's go inside the next type of inheritance which is the multi-level inheritance imagine there is one base class class A and now let's say there's two classes class B and class C when class B extends to class A and class C extends to class B note when class C extends to class B not to class A this type of inheritance is called the multi-level inheritance and as it will be very clear for you guys when I show you the demo part so let's jump inside the demo and again I have written an automation code just to type the type what I'm gonna feel for the program and yes this is just the automation code for it I think it's multi multi level yes multi level of pi and that goes yes so class vehicle is again I'm taking it as a base class and it has the parameters like price speed gear etc 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 and class BMW extends to vehicle now class BMW 5 extends to BMW which is this type of inheritance is called the multi-level inheritance uh, I'll explain you a little bit further once this once this uh, automation completes and I think it's gonna complete now yeah so uh, uh -huh. yes okay yeah so what I've done here is class BMW extends to class vehicle which is here and class BMW 5 extends to class BMW not to vehicle which means you can access class BMW and class vehicle with an object of class BMW 5 that is what I've done in line 19 I've created an object called B for class BMW 5 and with this object B I'm accessing both the class vehicle and class BMW so so simply it's like very simple to understand I guess I think it's not difficult to understand and let me again just compile it and show it to you I'm gonna save it as BMW 5 BMW 5 I think it's 5 let me close this yes BMW 5 dot Java yes and how do you compile it is Java C let me clear the screen first yes now how do you compile it is Java C BMW BM BMW 5 dot Java yes and no errors and how do you run it is Java BMW class I think it's small letters Java BMW 5 yes ah uh, yeah so that's the output and there's no errors also by the way so what this this is evident that you can use an object of class BMW 5 which extends to BMW and class BMW which extends to class vehicle and with this object class BMW 5 you can access both class vehicle and class BMW without any problem and this type of inheritance is called the multi-level inheritance and with this in mind let's go to the next type of inheritance which is the hierarchy of inheritance as the word says hierarchy just the name biological terms no so imagine there's one base class and two derived class let's say class A is the base class and class B and class C is the derived class so let's say now class B extends to class A and class C extends to class A this type of inheritance is called the hierarchical inheritance uh, let me show you a demo on it and I think it will be more clear once the demo is over yeah and yes yes let me just open a new file let me run the automation code for it you may ask me why am I using this automation code it's just very simple I'm very bad in typing and that's the only reason I can give you for this automation code and what is the file that it's a hierarchy yes yeah, that goes 
so here also I'm taking the same class vehicle as a piece class and it has the various parameters and by default it's public so it's not a big deal in it now class car extends to class vehicle it's important to note here and now class bike extends to vehicle whereas in multi-level class bike would have been extended to class car but whereas in hierarchical class bike extends to class vehicle so what happens now is in class hierarchy you're gonna create an object for both class car as well as class bike so with this objects you can access the respective class plus the class which has been inherited in other words or in lame words let me explain you once this automation completes i think it's gonna complete now oh yeah i think another few more lines to left so okay let's let, let me teach let me tell you in line 22 it is evident that you have created and class of I mean an object for class car and with this object you can access class car as well as class vehicle so that is what is going on from line 23 to 26 and in line 29 it is evident that you have created a class for class class for bike B and with this object you can access the class bike as well as class uh, what is it vehicle yes vehicle so yes and other thing important to note here is with class with object c it is impossible to access class bike because class car doesn't extend to class bike and vice versa and it's just the same as in class bike also so let me just run this quickly i want to save it as hierarchy h h i dot java and let me run it first just a second let me clear the screen first java java c akira java yeah there is no problem with the code let me java yes that's the output yes that's the output it's correct output yeah so it is evident that this type of it is evident that this is working so let let me show you what happens if you try to access illegally or let me say let's, let's say uh, class you're trying to access class car with object b or the object of class b so let's say i'm trying to access it over here I think it's C name, yes, B dot C name, yes. So let me run it again. Yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, let me just compile it. Oh, yeah, my bad, I didn't save it. I should have saved it. Yes. Yeah, there you go, that's the error. And the error says it has variable B of type bike, which is you're trying to access class car with class bike, the object of class bike. Important note here. So, this is what is called um, hierarchical inheritance. With this in mind, let's jump to the last part of the inheritance, which is the multiple inheritance. Multiple inheritance is like you have class two base classes class A and class B and there is a derived class class C which extends to both class A as well as class B. This is this type of inheritance can be done in C++ but this cannot be done in Java. Why is it so? It's simple again. It's because it's called the ambiguity problem. So let me show you a sample code which are pasted here. So let's say there's class A over here and class B over here so now let's say class C extends to class A and B so what happens when you compile it is you get an compile time error which is because of the ambiguity problems this is because of this ambiguity problem so how do you overcome this is what you do is kind of use and multiple interfaces I don't think I'll be showing you what is multiple interfaces in this video because 
I was not assigned it so that's the reason why I'm not showing you that so this is what so how do you use multiple inheritance in Java is you use multiple inheritance I mean multiple interfaces so multiple interfaces is different from inheritance so I think it will be covered by someone else or some yes so yeah I think this marks the end of the video and I think this this topic of inheritance would have been clear to you and yeah thank you